Hey, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Ranjan and this is AI playlist and in this video we will talk about feature selection. Hope you guys have watched my previous video which was feature engineering. If you have not watched feature engineering, watch this video. Here's the link. So what is feature selection? As we have already created number of the features in the last video and we have got created approximately 52 features and we cannot take 52 features in the model because it will degrade the performance of the model. So what we have to do in the feature selection, we will select the most important features most statistically significant features which could be best for our model to learn the pattern there's a very known thing which is garbage in garbage out if we will feed the garbage to the model the model will give a output as garbage always and uh, so we have to give a best features to the model so that it will give the best output it will give the best accuracy the model performance would be good and another is curse of dimensionality so what it states it states that whenever we have a large number of features your model performance will all base be degraded so we have to select the number of features which would be statistically significant so there are number of techniques which are so i have stated as below principal component analysis principal component regression there are a number of techniques there is nothing right nothing wrong you can use different different techniques from whichever the you are getting a good result you can use that technique freely there is nothing wrong nothing right so in this video we will talk about principal component analysis and we will use correlation by using this we will drop the less significant features so without wasting any further time let's start the last video we have created a 52 features i have already shown you in previous video and now what i will do i will use a correlation function so i have the data in that data i have 52 columns so what i am doing i am creating a correlation matrix it will create a correlation matrix so i can show it as how it looks like it will give me a value between minus one to one but we cannot visualize because it is in numeric and there are a lot of columns we won't be able to visualize it so what we will do we will create a heat matrix i will show you how we will create it so this is the function in which we are setting the figure size how big figure it would be if we will not use the heat map would be very small and we have a lot of features so we have to give a size to this so we are using 1818 18 length and breadth of the graph so it is for color what color we want to give so we are giving a some value so i'm just using a red or blue so this for red this is for blue and i'm using a heat map it will creating a heat map and what function i'm using I'm, there is a heat map function in seaborn library and in this uh, function i am using a correlation matrix which i have created in the above step and i'm using cmap this cmap i am using center 0 0.v max 1 and line width 1 it's uh, all about the customization and this is the axis which i have created ax equal to ax i am here created f and a f for figure size ax for axis so ax equal to x and so it is looking like this so this is the graph that i have created from the heat matrix so basically it has using all the features all the 52 variables on the y-axis and all the 52 features on the x-axis so what is saying that if it having a strong positive correlation so color would be this from light blue to dark blue if it has white color so basically wherever it has the white color so that value is specifying it as zero correlation so if it is showing me the red color so it is giving me the positive correlation because this value it is in positive so here it is one it's a perfect strong correlation strong positive correlation and if color is like this so it would be less correlated it would be less correlated and here it would be no correlation so what i have to do if these values have a color like this we have to delete that variable so i will just uh, copy into the paint to give you more clarity so here it is so this is my target this is attrition yes it is my target whether the person has left the organization or not so what it will show like uh, if it is i'm taking example with the age so the, here my age is so with age it has a good correlation because it's in blue this is in white so this is in education so we can delete the education so we will delete the education it has no correlation it has blue it has blue these two are white these are the percent salary hike and the performance rating so there is no correlation between this and output okay the, this is light blue so we can take it as and this is white so what it is this uh, this is years since last promotion so how many years since last promotion so this we will delete all are good 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 this these two are white so we we have to delete these variables so i can see it's a stability we have created the stability it's stability what was stability stability was that user has a how much stable he is in this company so we will delete stability income year complete we will delete also this and after that uh, attrition this is pure red basically it's a attrition yes it's a inter 
section of attrition yes you see this is attrition yes that's why it's strong correlation it would be one uh, these are all okay 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 these is in white also in white education field if it is life sciences so it's not correlated it has no correlation so here uh, what i will see these two are pure whites so i will check what are these so job role research scientist and job role sale executive it has this feature as well education field education field other so i will delete this is also in white so i will delete this feature it's an education field other and human resources this is also in white color i will delete this i will delete this so what are these two features it's a gender male it's no use and so basically what is saying that gender is no correlation whether employee will left or not and job role human resources so now we have 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so i will delete 11 variables from the data so these are these were my columns before deleting and before deleting my data shape was 52 and now i'm deleting 11 columns out of it and now i would have so earlier i have 52 now it has 40 so i have deleted 12 so now i will check the correlation again so now i will see there is no white would be so if we will check attrition yes there is just a little blue and uh, we don't have any white all are blue or in red so this is perfect from a point of hit matrix so now i will create a new variable which is x because x is my independent variable so from the independent variable i will drop the attrition yes because it's a our target so i will drop the attrition variable from our data so it will be now x so basically x would be having all independent variables so now i need to perform pca that is principal component analysis and i have to calculate vif so vif is for calculating the collinearity so these two things require the data need to be scaled so all the independent variables need to be on the same scale so what i will do i will scale that data i will perform scaling so i am using a function which is in standard scalar it will import from the sklearn dot preprocessing so i will perform scaling so what exactly i am doing in this function i am creating a new variable which is in x transform what it does it will just fit the data by scaling it is using my original which is x variable is having my all independent variables and after it created a x transform so x transform is array so i have to convert this array into data frame i am creating a now a capital x a new variable and i am using pd dot data frame pandas dot data frame i'm using data frame function in pandas and here i am using array which i have created in the earlier step which is x transform so i am using x transform and columns i am using my previous column which is having a small x small x dot columns so it will use all the columns so i have scaled the data so now you will see the all my data would be in minus three to three because it uses a z-score by default in scaling so now my data is scaled first of all i will use the variance inflation factor it is vif and this term is used to check multicollinearity and i have already covered multicollinearity in my this video so if you are not aware about multicollinearity check out this link and what is vif vis is a basically a variance inflation factor and this measure is not specific to the model it is specific to the variable and uh, one more important thing we do not include the categorical variables for the multicollinearity check we always use numeric variables and we have already converted all categorical variables into the numeric variable so we can use our x data which i have created by the scaling so as of now my data is capital x so what i am doing here if uh, by performing scaling drop any if any value is having a zero value it will drop that row so now I will create a new data frame which is VIF and I am initializing by the PD dot data frame is a blank data frame. So as of now at this step the VIF is my empty data frame and now I am using VIF having a new column which is VIF factor. So basically it would having a value of VIF variation inflation factor and now I am using variance inflation factor it's a function in the stats model dot stats dot outlier influence. So it's a library in this library there is a function variance inflation factor i will call variation inflation factor we will call it as vif so i will use x dot values all the values of the data frame x so it having all values and it uses it two things which is first is x values and another thing is i what i is i will use a loop so that we can 
यूज ए नंबर वी कैन प्रिंट ए नंबर जीरो वन टू इट्स बेसिकली यूज फॉर सीरियल नंबर एंड रेंज एक्स डॉट शेप वन बेसिकली वन इज ए कॉलम वी नो एक्स डॉट शेप देर इज ए टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज रो एंड सेकेंड इज कॉलम सो आई एम नॉट यूजिंग वन इफ आई विल बी यूजिंग जीरो सो इट विल बी हैविंग ए फॉर रोज बट आई हैव टू क्रिएट ए वी आई एफ फॉर ऑल कॉलम दैट्स वाई आई एम यूजिंग वन एंड इट विल रन अप टू द नंबर ऑफ द कॉलम सो हेयर आई एम यूजिंग ए वी आई एफ फीचर्स हेयर आई हैव यूज दिस कॉलम एंड हेयर आई एम यूजिंग ए this column it will create another column which is features and in the features it will update the values of x dot column now i will print the vif so and as per standards vif should not be greater than 5 and in the extreme cases we can take that limit as 10 vif should not be greater than 10 in any case but here in this case we have plenty of columns so we will take as 5 so whatever the value is greater than 5 we will delete that column first of all we have job level and what is multicollinearity i will tell you that if some of the independent variables are correlated with each other i am not talking about the dependent variable i am not talking about the target variable i am talking about independent variables if some of the independent variables are correlated with each other that means they have a multicollinearity job level it could be correlated another variable so i will delete job variable i will delete the monthly income and what more which is greater than 10 i will delete this one 6.14 department research and development department sales i will delete that i am deleting a job level monthly income and department research and development i am deleting three columns so i have deleted i am using x is equal to 1 because it is for column again i will calculate the vif now i will see like everyone is having a perfect value now no value is greater than 5 even so i have deleted three of them now i have 37 variables so i have to select more significant features so now i will apply pca so what is pca principal component analysis so pca is altogether a very long topic it would be video would be very lengthy so i will cover pca in another separate video so as of now i will tell you about some basic of pca pca is principal component analysis it's a technique of feature selection it uses a concept of eigen value and the eigen vector so it is a very important thing in pca and, and another algorithm which is svd singular value decomposition so in both algorithms it uses a concept of eigen value and eigen vector and it creates a linear combinations of our dimension suppose we are giving two variables to our pca so it will create a one principal component of this if we are giving four it will try to create two it will try to create a three it basically adds up it's a linear combination of these variables it is used to reduce our higher dimension into lower dimension so it will decrease the number of the features in this pca we have to calculate eigen vector and the eigen value we will create a eigen vector with having the highest eigen value when we will use this algorithm we will be having a two eigen values and whatever the highest eigen value it will be selected and by using that eigen value we will create a eigen vector and that eigen vector will be the principal component of two variables so we will be using different different variables and we will create a eigen value we will create a eigen vector then we will create a principal component and all principal component would be created in the pca should be orthogonal to each other they should be perpendicular to each other when you will see in the graph so now comes to coding part how we will do this so pca is a function which comes in sql and dot decomposition and i will initialize pca function as a new pca variable and now i will create a new principal principal components in this i will use a pca variable and fit transform there is a function which comes in pca i will use the x which is my scale data you have to remember that pca always performs on the scale data i'm using a plot dot figure and here i'm creating a plot in which it will use a numpy function and it will lay come some this is cumulative sum so it will add up all the sums and it will create a graph which is pca explained variance it will show me the variance what is pca explained variance ratio so it is the ratio show that it will show that maximum number of the independent variables show the maximum variance so it will give us a number when you will see the graph you will get understand here i am just labeling x label as a number of component y label is a variance and it will show the title now i will show you the graph how it look likes so this is the graph that we have received in the pca generally we say this graph as a elbow graph because it is just like a elbow and on the y axis it is variance and it on the x axis it is a number of components so what i am seeing that if i am using the five variables five independent variables i am getting the i am getting the variance ratio is 40 i am using a 50 15 so i am getting a 78 approximately if i am using a 22 
23 or 22 so i am getting the 90 percent of the variance so this graph is showing that around 90 to 95 percent of the variance is being explained by the 24 to 25 components so instead of giving all 40 components to the model i will use only 23 to 24 because if i am getting the 95 percent of the variance by using just 25 components i will not use rest of the 10 to 15 components for the sake of 5 percent variance because my 22 columns is giving me good variance of the data set so i will use 22 so we have to find a number from this graph at what point elbow is getting bent here we are seeing the 90 percent of is getting explained by this point so i will take as 22 so now i am using a pca define the components is 22 i can define the component that we want to get generated in the new data set so it will create a new data and it will create a pc.fit transform and transform the data and this new data would be array it is not a data frame like it happens in our scaling algorithm i will create a principal x new data frame by using a function pd.data frame pandas.data frame and i will use array in this and the columns name would be new columns because the new data would be generated there would be no sense it would be on random numbers how why it would be random numbers because the pca algorithms calculates the linear combination of variables so it has generated a new data but it would be related to our data it is just like a scale data so i have to create a column names i have to name new columns so what i am doing i am using a list comprehension and i am giving column 1 column 2 column 3 range equal to 22 because i am selecting the 22 so how my new data looks like so this would be my new data principal x all data would be form of random numbers it would be minus and zero minus and negative and positive so that's all in this particular video we have understand the feature selection how we will select the feature we can use any algorithm like like in the starting i have shown you there are many algorithms so there is nothing wrong nothing right we can use any algorithm and machine learning is all about doing experiment and i will be explaining the pca in my further videos i hope this video is informative to you and please like this video subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed already don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification in your inbox do share this video with your friends so see you all in the next video till then goodbye enjoy happy learning